This is our fun guest. Uh, uh, so, oh my gosh, three days, right? Wow. Three days until election day. I can feel it in my stomach. I'm feeling a lot of things in my stomach. <laughs> um, I am so grateful that you came here to rally. I mean, I don't know if I'm able to rally. But she is up and down Long Island to making sure volunteers are out there doing what they need to do. Democrats are energized and out there and getting out the vote, early voting on election day, and all the way down to the end of the ballot. Because as you know, I like to say, with me and Kim and Tom, you can start at the right and work your way back. Because <laughs> um, everybody's going for president. Um, and so, this election matters in so many ways. We have obviously the top of the ticket, and Kamala Mamala, we've got to, got to get her in office. Um, but these local races, the state legislature, Congress, co the Congress runs through Long Island, right? The um, Hakeem Jeffries being Speaker of the House runs through New York, runs through Long Island, which is wild. How did we become a battleground state? But here we are. Yes. We are a battleground state, you guys. And it's happening right here on Long Island. And then there's the state legislature. So regardless of what happens at the federal level, we need to make sure that we have good elected officials that stay in office and then make sure that New Yorkers are protected every single day. And by the way, nobody protects New Yorkers better than this lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. New Yorkers every single day, and I couldn't be prouder to stand next to I've got a little goosebumps. I'm so I am. I got a little goosebumps. Um, and uh, our Attorney General, the woman of the hour right now, Tish James, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll just say, I'm going to be very quick. I, this is what I say everywhere I speak now. I'm being very quick because I don't want to take people away from knocking on doors. Yes, uh, <laughs> it's so, crunch time. But, but this is what I will say. It is an amazing honor to have you here, Attorney General James. And I also want you to know that this is a special place. Here in Port Washington, we have been working together since late 2016 mm -hmm. to build a wonderfully engaged and active and committed community of Democrats who go out, they knock the doors, they make the calls, and we get things done here. And so this is a special group of people here in front of you. They represent even more special people who are out there doing this work, and we're really <laughs> counting on the people who are here and the people that they represent. We're counting on all of you yeah, because, right? because <laughs> And the babies. We know that the babies case have gotten higher and higher and higher. We see it illustrated in just the last few days as we see the Trump campaign's rhetoric has amped up in some really ugly ways. But also right here on the local level, we see just a couple of days ago, a mailer from my opponent hit, you know, um, scapegoating migrants and trying to make me responsible for uh, the entire migrant crisis in really ugly um, denigrating and scapegoating terms that just have no place here in our politics. So these are the stakes, we know what they are, and uh, we know what direction we need to be going in as Long Islanders. So thank you so much for thank being you. here to help us. Thank you. Isn't she wonderful? Here. speech yeah, yeah, yeah. is much better than the speech that I'm going to give, except that William's speech will be almost as long as my speech. It is super to be out here with our extraordinary Attorney General, Tis James. With, with Gina Saletti, and Gina and I have been friends for so long, and what an extraordinarily talented and important member of the State Assembly. And with Kim Kaiser, and I see John in the back, and he's got his Kamala shirt on. <laughs> this is the speech. Let's go win this! Yes! yes. There is so much at stake at this point. This is not about politics. This is oh, yes. not about party. This is bigger than that. This is about freedom and liberty. This is about our democracy as we know it. 
And it's really critically important that individuals understand what is at stake. Of course, we know reproductive rights, but we also know the environment, and the list goes on and on and on. And we also know uh, they are using hate. Um, they are seeking to divide us. And they're seeking, obviously, um, to focus, as was mentioned, um, to scapegoat migrants and others. It's their playbook. Their playbook is to focus on the LGBTQ community, to focus on migrants, and just focus on race. But we won't have it, because really this is what democracy looks like. And I don't know about you, um, I will not bow to a king, or a dictator, or an autocrat, right? As someone who recently traveled um, to Normandy, I was overtaken with emotion when I saw all the grave sites. Um, the grave sites, when they, they were primarily young men, and as far as the eye could see, you saw crosses and stars of David of young men, and a lot of them were from New York. And they were young boys between the ages of 16 and 19. They were just two women who were nurses. And I can't believe that someone who was running for president would call them suckers and losers. Mm -hmm. And as far as I'm concerned, that disqualifies him to serve as president mm -hmm. of these United States. And you may disagree with Senator McCain, but the fact that he fought for my right and my liberty yes. yeah. and for the right yes. for yeah. individuals to disagree with me, um, you know, that to me um, disqualifies this individual. And all of the hate that was spoken at that quote-unquote rally at Madison Square Garden. Um, I just don't know how individuals obviously can support him, but I recognize the grievances, I recognize the tension, I recognize the economic uncertainty, I recognize that individuals um, feel a lot of discomfort right now in our country. I understand all of that. <clears throat> but I want people to know that there's something larger than that, something greater than that, and that is our country. And we're being torn apart, and it hurts me to my soul, um, the fact that, um, you know, we're just uh, at each other's throats, and that really should not be the case. So it's up to all of you in this room, up to all of you to remember history, it's up to all of you who knock on doors, it's up to all of you to, to um, let people know um, what is um, at stake and that we can't leave anything on the field. And after we vote for decency, and after we vote um, for normalcy, and after we vote for unity, and after we vote for our country, we've got to vote for these two women and uh, a gentleman who gets it. <laughs> Because these two women, you know, they said, no offense, you know, if you want something done, give it to the ladies. <laughs> and these two women, uh, Gina, I know, only called me out here because she wants another babysitter. And I'll just say, oh my gosh, anytime. Because <laughs> she knows I love children. You know, my faith teaches me, bring all the children, and I love children. Um, because I want them to grow up in a world where they respect everybody. Mm -hmm. And I want them to grow up in a world where they don't see differences. And uh, my new friend, Kim, um, I want her to I want to work with her. Because the legislature, obviously, is really critically important, and we need to strengthen both houses. And obviously, you know, uh, these two are my bosses. I will defend them. And I will defend the laws that they pass. I will defend all of their actions um, that, you know, because there's so many cases that have been brought by the federal government, the Republican federal government, uh, co members of Congress, um, against the state legislature, and there are individuals who have brought cases, again, challenging their laws. But as the Attorney General, it's my job to defend all that they do. And I know that each and every day what they do is when they seek to expand the middle class. What they do is they try to bring common sense approaches to, to solving government. What they do is try to bring us together, and what they do is try to advance our society, our state, and our nation. And that's why I support them, and that's why that I'm out here today. Um, so I've been out on Long Island all day long from 8 o'clock, and I have one more event where we're going to go to John Avalon's district and campaign for him as well. Yes, uh, yes, the house runs through Long Island. 
and I'm sick and tired of a dysfunctional Congress that does not address the needs of Americans who are struggling right now. Yeah. 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 So, we've, got, uh, we've got to get on the doors, we've got to vote, um, and we've got to bring it home. And when you bring it home for normalcy, when we return to normalcy, uh, when the body politic, when we can discuss issues where we may disagree without yelling at each other and calling each other names, um, where we can have a, where we have a Republican Party that is a Republican Party that my mom was once a member of, mm -hmm. a Republican Party you know that believes in certain values as opposed to I hate you because you're you, mm -hmm. right. yeah. then we'll return to normalcy. And so, got 72 hours. I am the enemy of the state as defined by a certain individual. And uh, I don't know about you, but I refuse to bow down to a dictator. And I will use the law both as a sword and, a she as an, and, a, and as a shield. But I want all of you to know that in 2016, Democratic Attorney Generals, we stood up. We fought back against that administration. We won 80% of our cases, but now it's different. He's got a lot of law firms. He's hired a lot of law firms. They've studied the law this past four years. They've got standing. They've got the United States Supreme Court. It's different. So it's not up to us. It's up to all of you. And the power, my friends, is in your hands. It's because when we vote, we win. When we vote, we win. When we vote, we win. Come on, Port West Justice, Washington. Yet, go over there and yeah, see our yeah. friends. We're not going back. We're not going back.